Hello everyone, welcome to Power and Energy channel. On this video, I will share something about convolutional neural network. Convolutional neural network is a kind of neural network which is doing phenomenal job in image classification and image recognition. Convolutional neural network also been successful in face detection object detection and traffic sign identification problems which is also powering computer vision problem in robots and self-driving cars. Convolutional neural network is also used in smart grid applications recently since smart grid generates huge amount of data. Convolutional neural network architecture has three different layers namely convolution layer with RELU activation pooling layer and fully connected or dense layer. For a safer clarity, simple convolutional neural network architecture for a two class classification problem is shown here, where the input image is presented to convolutional layer. The convolutional layer extract information from the input image. Then the next layer is pooling layer. Pooling layer reduce the extracted information which is also called as a down sampling layer. So next layer is flatten layer, which is just converting your matrix into vector. Then the dense layer usually available at the end of convolution layer, especially on this case for a classification of cat or dog. Then the output layer exactly says that the given image is cat or dog with the softmax activation. I'll explain each and every layer in the upcoming slide. So convolution layer. The primary objective of convolution layer is to extract features from the input image. Then the convolution layer produces output by simply convolving input image with a filter, where X is the input image, which is actually representing the input image with n cross n matrix. Remember, your computer sees your image pixel if the image is uh, grayscale, then it is 0 and 1. If it is an RGB, then we have 0 to 255. So for sake of understanding this convolution layer operation, I have chosen n cross n matrix as input image. That is 5 cross 5, which is convolved with the filter 3 cross 3 and produces convolution layer output n minus f plus 1 cross n minus f plus 1, which is also 3 cross 3 matrix. So this is a formula to calculate output image dimension. So n represents number of uh, that is size of input image. F represents size of filter which was chosen for the given example. So for the users, you can change the size of filter as per the requirement or as per the problem description. Let me tell you how to calculate these numbers, three cross three numbers, which is on output image. How this convolution layer works? The input image sample I have chosen as 5 cross 5 dimension and the filter with the 3 cross 3 dimension when the input image is convolved with this 3 cross 3 filter produces output image as 3 cross 3 dimension. In order to find out 1 comma 1 element of this output 3 cross 3 let's superimpose this filter into input image such that 1 comma 1 of this filter is superimposed on 1 comma 1 of input image 1 comma 2 of this filter superimposed on 1 comma 2 of input image and so on till 3 comma 3 of this filter is superimposed on 3 cross 3 of element as i have shown in left hand side bottom figure then go for element wise multiplication and 1 cross 1, 1 cross 0, 1 cross 1, 0 cross 0, 1 cross 1, 1 cross 0, 0 cross 1, 0 cross 0, minus 1 cross 1 produces a result of 2. Element wise multiplication and sum of these values 2. Similarly, if I want to find out 1 comma 2 element of this output image matrix, you shift this filter 
once on my right hand side so that 1 comma 1 of this filter is superimposed on 1 comma 2 of input image and 1 comma 2 of this filter is superimposed on 1 comma 3 of input image and so on till 3 comma 4 of this input image then go for once again element wise multiplication and add all the value will be finding 3 okay, this 3 let me go for one more example here if i want to find out this 2 comma 1 element 2 comma 1 element you superimpose this filter to input image such that 1 comma 1 of this filter is superimposed on 2 comma 1 of this input image and 1 comma 2 of this filter is superimposed on 2 comma 2 of this input image and so on as i have shown in my right hand side bottom figure and again element wise multiplication and sum of all this value produces 0 similarly you can find out 2 comma 2 value as 2 by shifting once right hand side and 2 comma 3 value as 1 3 comma 1 as minus 2 3 comma 2 as 1 3 comma 3 as 0 so this is convolution operation at once convolution operation is over we have to apply RELU activation that is rectifier linear unit what is RELU function f of x is equal to maximum of 0 comma x say for example if you are giving input to RELU activation anything less than 0 it will be treated as 0 after RELU activation if any value is equal to 0 or greater than 0 is retained as output of RELU layer so you can look at the graph here any value greater than 0 on x will be treated as the same value for f of x that is output of RELU but any value less than 0 will be treated as 0 as output of f of x say for example I got this output from convolution layer which is feed to RELU activation so here on this 9 element only one element that is minus 2 alone less than 0 which will be treated as 0 after RELU operation the rest of the element as it is in the previous convolution output retained as output of RELU pooling layer or called a down sampling layer which will reduce number of information gathered from the input image which is very important when you have too many input parameters pooling layers has three types namely max pooling average pooling and sum pooling among this max pooling is predominantly used in convolutional neural network say for example n cross n is a input for a max pooling layer you are having f cross f filter then the output of max pooling layer is going to be n minus f plus 1 cross n minus f plus 1 that is if you have a 3 cross 3 input to the max pooling layer and you have chosen 2 cross 2 filter then the output is going to be 2 cross 2 that is n minus f plus 1 3 minus 2 plus 1 is 2 a 2 cross 2 output after convolution layer I got this output which we have seen in the previous slide when you choose 2 cross 2 convolution layer you will be finding 3 3 2 2 as a max pooling result how did I find this 3 3 2 2 say for example if you want to find out 1 comma 1 of this output of max pooling layer we have to choose 2 cross 2 matrix from this n cross n that is 3 cross 3 input image okay. so if you are going for 1 comma 1 you just choose 2 cross 2 starting from 1 comma 1 1 comma 2 2 comma 1 2 comma 2 as I have shown in the left hand side bottom figure then among this you choose maximum value I have 2 3 0 2 3 is maximum value which is 1 comma 1 of this pooling layer output similarly if you want to perform 1 comma 2 of max pooling layer you just shift this 2 cross 2 once right hand side so that 3 2 2 1 among this four element we have to choose maximum value 
that maximum value is 3 and similarly when you go to 2 comma 1 2 comma 2 you can able to find 2 2 for both output of pooling layers flatten layer the role of flatten layer is to convert matrix into vector so this is the input to flatten layer which is actually output of a max pooling layer then the output is uh, 4 cross 1 vector from 2 cross 2 matrix then the next layer is fully connected layer with re LU activation so the output of flatten layer is treated as input for this fully connected layer the fully connected layer has four neurons each receives bias namely b1 b b11 b12 b13 b14 and each cell or neurons receive input from all the four input after multiplying with the corresponding weight so this weight and bias we have to initialize before running the program so in order to calculate the output of this fully connected layer we have to use this formula a is equal to w x plus b where w is weight matrix of a layer x is input for a layer and b is bias of the same layer in order to find out these values a11 that is output of a layer that is fully connected layer first neutron a12 the same layer second neuron third neuron and fourth neuron respectively so this is weight matrix I have initialized 4 cross 4 matrix. So how come this 4 cross 4? Number of neurons available on this layer, A layer, that is 4. So then input for this layer is also 4. That's why 4 cross 4. Then X is the input which is 3, 3, 2, 2. That is 4 cross 1 vector. Then B is bias which is randomly initialized as 0 0.1 for all the four cases 0 0.1 0 0.1 0 0.1 0 0.1 and finally I am getting 8 7.1 7.4 and 7 as a result of this fully connected layer then this result is feed to RELU activation as we come across RELU activation which is giving output as a input if your input is 0 or greater than 0 if your input is negative value then the output is going to be 0 so here I don't find any negative value so after RELU activation my output is same as my input coming to final layer output layer or fully connected layer with the softmat activation function the output layer has only two neurons here both neurons receives bias as well as input each neuron has its own bias and also has four different input from the previous fully connected layer A1 after multiplying with the corresponding weight. So in order to find out output layer O value, we have to use O is equal to W2 A1 plus B2 where O is output of this output layer, W2 is weight matrix initialized for this output layer a1 is output of previous fully connected layer which is 8 7.1 7.47 and b2 is bias for this second layer or output layer which is b21 b22 so if you want to find out o1 o2 you have to first initialize w2 that is weight matrix for output layer which is between 0 to 1 then the input of this output layer is 8 7.1 7.47 which was obtained from the previous fully connected layer output then the bias value once again initialized as 0 0.1 so I am getting output as 9.61 and 6.49 then the output layer is connected with softmax activation function the softmax activation function works in this fashion that is which class has highest probability that will be chosen as the final result say for example sigma of oi is equal to exponential of oi divided by sum of exponential of oi that is if you want to find out activation for o1 
exponential of O1 divided by sum of exponential of O1 and exponential of O2 which is of 0.95. Similarly, activation for the second layer exponential of O2 divided by sum of exponential of O1 and exponential of O2 so which is of 0.04 among this 0.95 has highest priority than 0.04 so the final output for this problem is class 1 class 1 is cat in this fashion the convolutional neural network works coming to other kind of problem if you have huge number of input one simple convolution layer is not useful you have to stack too many layers so for sake of clarity i have given two convolution layer here one convolution layer with relu activation and a corresponding pooling layer one and instead of connecting flatter layer straight away as i did in the previous slide i have connected one more combination of convolutional plus pooling layer so this will give the structure of stacked convolutional neural network. If you have huge number of input data, you can add number of stacked convolutional neural network to produce the proper result. So if you like this video, subscribe our channel to get more update. Thank you.